Elite mammalian divers, such as the sperm whale, can hold their breath for well over an hour while they hunt in the depths of the oceans, while land mammals, such as humans, barely last a couple of minutes underwater without gasping for air. An international team, led by Dr. Michael Berenbrink at the University of Liverpool, has now traced the evolution of the oxygen-binding protein myoglobin to shed new light on how diving mammals survive for such long periods underwater without breathing. Myoglobin, a protein that gives meat its red colour, is present in especially high concentrations in elite mammalian divers, so high that the muscle is almost black in colour. But until now, very little is known about how this molecule is adapted in champion divers. The team identified the electrical charge on the surface of the protein, which increases in mammals that can dive underwater for longer periods of time. By mapping this molecular signature onto the family tree of mammals, the scientists were able to reconstruct the muscle oxygen stores in extinct ancestors of today's diving mammals. All proteins tend to aggregate at high enough concentrations, which may seriously impair their function. We think that the high net charge on the surface of myoglobin of all mammalian divers causes electro-repulsion, like between similar poles of two magnets and this will critically allow much higher concentration of the oxygen storing protein in the muscles of these divers. We're really excited about this because it allows us to align the anatomical changes that occur during the land to water transition of mammals with the actual physiological diving capacities of these animals. The study also has wider implications for human health research. This work improves our understanding of how organisms evolve to avoid the problem of protein aggregation, which is important for a number of human diseases. The research not only reveals mechanisms behind one of the most extreme physiological adaptations in the animal world, but also sheds new light on the surprising evolution of one of the best known proteins.